what's everyone saying? It's your boy, someone that's brought back again. I'm in a bit of a rush, of course, as you do, running late. I'm at St Pancras International here, of course, in central London. There is one station I can reach from here which has intrigued me for so long. You know, is it a park and ride? Is it a white elephant? Is it an airport railway station? I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to see. It's a yes. It's a no. But I'm in a rush. The train's going soon. I'm here at St Pancras International. Not heading to the continent, unfortunately. Nor heading for a flight from Luton, fortunately. Only joking. I'm heading on an EMR up to East Midlands Parkway, a station which has been on my bucket list to visit for a long while now. Yes, I know, it might sound odd that I have going to a random station in the East Midlands on a bucket list of mine. As usual, I'm running late for my train. If I'm not living life on the edge, I'm not living life at all. I think this is the first time I'm going on the Midland Main Line past Luton Airport Parkway. So this will be quite interesting to see. As you saw on the signs out there, there was a little like plane symbol for East Midlands Parkway. We'll discuss all of that once we get down there. But first I need to get on this train, find my seat and open my can of San Pellegrino. Also, this is the first place I've seen in London that does multi-train boardings on the same platform. I've always seen it at Glasgow Central, but I've never saw Glasgow Central, Birmingham New Street, places like that, but not here. Off we head to East Midlands Parkway. Our journey is expected to take around an hour 20 minutes, calling it less than Loughborough before reaching East Midlands Parkway. I initially got my tickets for this day out during the Great British Rail sale, also doing a little bit of split ticketing. In all honesty, yeah, there was a lot of media attention pushed out about this sale and it was quite underwhelming, I can't lie, you know. They say, oh, one million tickets over a month and it was only on like select journeys and some of it wasn't even half price and ugh. You know, the only sale I want to be seeing is the Northern 10p sale. That is the only life I want to be living. That is the only money I want to be spending. This is not a controversial opinion at all. Meridians are better than voyages. Just look at this leg space. Folks, for such a busy main line route, why is the Midland main line not fully electrified? It's an absolute crime. Back in the 60s, you were able to get a train from St Pancras to St Enoch in Glasgow via the Settle Carlisle line. <laughs> 80 minutes later, here we arrive. Midlands Parkway it is a very sunny and you see as soon as I got off the train you can see the sign that said for East Midlands Airport there was a lot of folk that got off with suitcases and then me of course with my backpack you know I'm looking like well, I am gonna end up at the airport later today but I'm not flying anywhere as soon as you get off the train or as soon as the train comes in the first thing you see right in front of you is this big power station here. East Midlands Parkway was opened in January 2009 at a cost of £25 million. A brand new station, it was plumped on the Midland Main Line strategically located between Nottingham, Derby and Loughborough, also not being too far from East Midlands Airport and Donington Park Race Circuit. The only nearby location of interest is the massive ratcliffe on saw coal power station, which is due to be decommissioned and closed in September 2024. The station has four platforms, two for fast intercity services and two for slower local services.
The station is fully accessible with lifts and stairs that reach each platform. The station building is completely stacked too. It's staffed. Ooh. Has toilet facilities, departure boards, ticket machines, a first class lounge, space for a cafe, which wasn't open at this time, and a small indoor waiting room. Oh, and there's an 885 space car park outside. The station is only served by East Midlands Railway, with intercity services down to London and up to Nottingham, Sheffield and Derby. Local services run between Leicester and Lincoln via Nottingham, with some services heading to Grimsby. Now, this station intrigues me. What is this station for? What is its purpose? Why is it here? Is it a white elephant? Some people think yeah, some people think no. Let's discuss. As with other parkway stations, it was built to serve as an easy access point onto the railway network, linking the more rural areas with nearby cities and major centres without people having to lug their cars into town with them. Parkway stations have helped reduce congestion on routes into town, in turn reducing air pollution from all the lovely diesel cars floating about. What is boss man, boss thing, my G? What exactly is it? Now there's quite a few parkway stations in the UK and um, okay yeah we don't have as big of a high-speed rail network as like say France or like Spain or not because France and Spain they love their parkway stations uh, if you travel on the Eurostar if you travel between London and Paris there's a station that you always pass through called Haute Picardie TGV Haute Picardie it's literally in the middle of nowhere it's something like this but it's even more remote but it still gets passengers. And there's other stations, it'll be like blah, 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 TGV. They're normally stations in the middle of nowhere. They might have like a bus or two that link to the nearest town, but they're basically there, like this type of station, to get people who would normally drive into the big cities who want to travel by train. And it's, but yeah, it basically acts as a park and ride. EM Parkway was built to serve the wider local area, including nearby villages like Kegworth and Thrampton, and it was noted as a park and ride station for Leicester, Derby and Nottingham, helping reduce car usage into the cities and taking traffic off the nearby busy M1 motorway. Its construction has been criticised, you know. At first, some folk noticed the quite inconvenient frequencies when the station opened, with trains being timetabled to run very close to each other, so there was no point even going to the station anyway. For using the station to get into Nottingham, for example, since the opening of the NET Southern Extensions, check out my video here, it has kind of made more sense for folk to drive close into town to the tram stops, park their car there and head in. Well, when you consider the other cities, Derby and Loughborough, they aren't even that far from each other. You're also not going to get many folk using the train to get to Luton Airport, because the trains the stop here, don't even stop at Luton Airport Parkway. Plus, you've got East Midlands down the road. The station isn't handled anywhere near as many passengers as initially predicted, having been described as poorly sighted. And even with my hour on a Saturday morning just loitering there, I saw way more folk arriving into the station than actually leaving from it. East Midlands Airport is located around four miles away from the railway station, which has been marketed as the stop for the airport. As it stands in March 2023, there is not a single timetable bus route that leaves from this station. If you were to travel from here to the airport, you'd need a taxi. Most folk using EMA would be traveling from the three East Midland cities using the Skylink bus, which is the easiest and the fastest way to and from the airport. East Midlands Parkway was the hub for Megabus Plus, a former part train park coach travel method founded when EMR was known as East Midlands Trains and operated by Stagecoach, who were also the owner of Megabus at the time. It allowed you to buy a ticket that got you on a train from London to Parkway Station, then you could change onto a Megabus service to destinations like York, Bradford, Hull. 
If you're here for anything other than the train, to park your car or just the loiter, <laughs> good luck. Funnily enough, if the cancelled HS2 Eastern Lake had been built into the East Midlands and up to Leeds and so on, there would have been an East Midlands interchange in the surrounding area. The plans were for it to be down the road in Toton, which is just up north from here. However, certain stakeholders would have preferred to have had an expanded East Midlands Parkway. The plans for an East Midlands hub were scrapped in November 2021 when the part of the Phase 2B plan that would have gone up to Leeds and York were cancelled. I guess then there was a possibility for the line to branch off a parkway and have them stop here? Nope. The whole of Phase 2? Gone. No high speed here, lads. No high speed here. Well, there are still hopes for the future here. With the power station being decommissioned, there have been plans floated for the redevelopment of the area, creating an estimated 7,000 jobs. Imagine Battersea Power Station, but different? I would say that this station was built with the best of intentions to reduce car journeys into the big East Midland cities, even though the results to achieve that have been quite underwhelming. It maybe is a bit poorly sighted, but a station in the middle of nowhere is better than no station. With the difficulty in getting to the airport, plus the cancellation of phase two of the high speed two line, what is the future for East Midlands Parkway? Maybe the redevelopment at the power station might liven it up a bit, you know? You never know. Let me just say it's criminal that this line is not electrified up to here. How is it not electrified up to Leicester, Loughborough, Nottingham, Sheffield? What is going on? I'd say this is a very functional station. There's nothing much here. There doesn't really need to be much here. But the one thing that it doesn't have, that I find so mad, is it doesn't have a link to the airport. There is no timetabled link to the airport, but there still is a way. And I'm gonna show you once I head outside. When the station was open, there was a mini bus link in service between the station and the airport. Then came the EMA rail link service, which was basically just a mini cab again, starting in 2015 and being annexed in 2019. Following this, the only way you could get across to the plane station from here was using the infrequent 865 bus, then changing down in nearby Kegwell. The 865 was replaced in May 2023 with a new demand responsive transport bus service, DRT which has no fixed timetable but basically just roams around a specific area following a route based on the requested journeys. Journeys are mainly booked on an app or you can call ahead during the week if you haven't got a compatible device. So I thought I'd book myself a trip to the airport to try it out. This is when I realized I was screwed. Lads in pure fashion, I think I've messed up. <laughs> oh, I should have pre-booked this journey before. I should have pre-booked this journey yesterday. I thought I'd turn up, maybe like wait like half an hour, 45 minutes, but there's no journeys to the airport. And I'm even trying to get to the next village down the road, Ketworth, yeah? Nothing. And I've got a free ride to use. Ah, So I'm gonna keep trying. If not, I might just have to get a train into Nottingham, which isn't the worst thing, but it's gonna cost more than the bus from the airport and some, oh lads, you don't understand how painful this is. <laughs> now this is the first time I can say I'm actually stuck in the middle of no, I'm not stuck, I'm not stuck. There's the train there. But I wanted to, I wanted to do my first DRT today. Demand responsive, the thing is I don't understand. Where, where is the, the, the demand? Yo, where's the demand? I just, I just wanna go to the airport. <laughs> Or even just into the next village, man, but it's not even letting me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to bail on this on-demand bus, man, I'm telling you. Not, I can't even get a bus into the nearest village, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get the train. Uh, I don't know when the next train is, but they're quite frequent. That is so annoying. 
Because there's like a little boop onto East Midlands Parkway Station. I'm in the zone. But apparently there's no journeys that are coming out here in the next 40, 45 minutes. So what's the point? Like I might as well just cut my losses, get the train to Nottingham. Trains in 20 or so minutes. There's a train to Grimsby. So whilst Bossman and his G's drive off there, I'm gonna drive off into the station, get a ticket for me to head into Nottingham. If you like the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. I'm gonna get on a cheeky 170 into Nottingham. I'll catch you in the next video. See you in a bit. Welcome to Grimsby Town. Our next station is Mahmoudra.